COVID-19 vaccines. Amid the chaos of the pandemic, vaccines emerged as a beacon of hope. Yet, they have also been the center of numerous controversies. Today, we will cut through the noise and uncover the scientific truth behind these vaccines. In this video, we will explore the journey of COVID-19 vaccines, the controversies surrounding them and the solid scientific data that dispels the myths and misinformation. Let's start with a brief history of COVID-19. Caused by the SARS-CoV-2 virus, which was first identified in December 2019 in Hubei province, China. This highly infectious virus spread rapidly leading to a global pandemic. The SARS-CoV-2 virus is believed to have originated from natural selection in animal hosts like bats and pangolins before making the jump to humans. This zoonotic transition is not unique. It's a characteristic of several viruses in the coronavirus family. As the virus spread, the World Health Organization or WHO declared COVID-19 as a global health emergency. The race to develop a vaccine began in earnest as vaccines are one of the most effective tools to combat infectious diseases. Vaccines are the most useful method for contagious disease prevention because they are most cost-effective than treatment and reduce mortality without long-lasting effects. Currently, immunization provides 2 to 3 million deaths from more than 20 life-threatening diseases that are now being controlled by vaccinations. Developing a vaccine for SARS-CoV-2 was no small feat. Scientists faced numerous challenges from understanding the virus biology and epidemiology to ensuring the vaccine's safety and efficacy. The first COVID-19 vaccine, developed by Pfizer, was introduced in December 2020. It marked a significant milestone in the fight against the pandemic. But with this milestone came a wave of concerns and controversies. One major point of contention has been the adverse effects associated with COVID-19 vaccines. It's crucial to understand this in context. Let's dive into the data. A study published in New England Journal of Medicine examined the safety profile of Pfizer vaccine. While there are some risks such as myocarditis and inflammation of the heart muscle, the study found these risks to be significantly lower than the risk associated with COVID-19 itself. For instance, myocarditis was observed in 2.7 cases per 100,000 vaccinated individuals, primarily young males. However, the risk of myocarditis from a COVID-19 infection was much higher, 11 cases per 100,000 infected individuals. The results are based on records from Plate Health Services in Israel, one of the world's largest integrated health record database. But these were relatively rare and less severe compared to the complications from a COVID-19 infection, which included kidney damage, pulmonary embolism, and many more. Despite these facts, vaccine hesitancy remains a significant issue fueled by misinformation and conspiracy theories. Let's address some of the most common myths. Myth 1. Vaccines cause more harm than COVID-19. The truth is, scientific evidence shows that the risk of severe adverse events from COVID-19 far outweigh the risk from vaccines. These small numbers of adverse events among vaccinated individuals stood in stark contrast with the high rate of multiple and more serious adverse events among the unvaccinated individuals infected with SARS-CoV-2. These include kidney damage, which is 14.8-fold increase with 125 excess cases per 100,000 individuals. Pericarditis, 5.4-fold increase with 11 excess cases per 100,000. Pulmonary embolism, 12.1-fold increase with 62 excess cases per 100,000 or a blood clot in the vein or myocardial infection or heart attack. And stroke, 2.1-fold increase with 14 excess cases per 100,000 individuals. The second misconception is that vaccines were developed too quickly to be safe. The truth is that while the vaccines were developed quickly, they underwent rigorous clinical trials, approval process and were tested on tens of thousands of participants to ensure safety and efficacy. The vaccines were tested in diverse populations to ensure broad effectiveness and identify any rare side effects. The accelerated timeline was due to unprecedented global collaboration and funding, not a compromise in the safety. The development and authorization process for COVID-19 vaccines were expedited due to the global emergency but did not skip essential safety and efficacy evaluations. Another myth, vaccine causes infertility and pregnancy delays. There is no significant evidence supporting the claim that COVID-19 vaccines affect the fertility. Extensive studies and monitoring have found 
there is no link between vaccines and infertility in men or women. The only known information related to COVID-19 vaccine in pregnancy was specific to mRNA-1273 vaccine, where the emergency use authorization fact sheet mentioned that the reproductive toxicity study in female rats, where vaccine-related adverse effects on female fertility, fetal development, and postnatal development were evaluated with no adverse events being reported. Studies have shown that pregnant women are more likely to experience adverse events after vaccination than non-pregnant women. The WHO also recommended COVID-19 vaccination for pregnant women, particularly those at higher risk of exposure to the virus or who have comorbidities that increases the risk of severe COVID-19. In most countries, vaccination for pregnant women was on a voluntary basis, meaning it was strongly encouraged but not mandatory. Health authorities provided guidance and support for pregnant women to make informed decisions. The fourth concern, potential unknown long-term side effects of the vaccines. Long-term side effects are very unlikely based on the vaccination history. Most vaccine-related adverse events occur within the first two months of vaccination. Ongoing monitoring has not shown any long-term adverse effects. COVID-19 immunization caused mostly mild or non-severe side effects. To combat vaccine hesitancy, public education and transparent communication are crucial. Involving healthcare workers, community leaders and public figures can help build trust and encourage vaccination. While COVID-19 vaccines are associated with some risk, these are minimal compared to the severe consequences of the virus itself. Vaccination remains our best bet to end the pandemic and return to a normal life. If you found this video informative, please like, share and subscribe to stay updated with the latest scientific insights. Together, we can fight misinformation and build a healthier future. Thank you.